Hey everybody, I'm going to do a quick Dollar Tree haul. Um, not a lot, so let me get into it. I'm just going to get right into it. So let me start first. Okay. <laughs> I got a map of the United States. I thought it'd be cool to maybe put it like on a um, cork board and maybe put pins on places we'd like to go visit and or places we've been and uh, plan some family trips. So I did get this. So it was in their teacher section. It says it's a 39 by 4 inches, 27 by 5 inches. I thought it'd be a cool thing to have, you know. So then I got that. And that's basically the reason I think it'd be cool to plan family trips. I also saw this. And it is in their Easter. It was in where all like the Easter signs are and stuff when you first go in the store. And it's just a little flower garland. Very pastel-y. I was thinking about putting it up for, you know, spring, but also I'm thinking at the end of spring, I may take it down and use the flowers in my journaling. And these little bunnies, this was another garland. Isn't that cute? They're all just little pastel, little bunny butts. <laughs> it's felt. And this was another one I thought too that I could afterwards use for journaling. Or I may even take them and make, um, you could take these and make bunny rabbits for your dolls with these. Because, you know, just put them back to back and stuff them with old socks. Because I know you got mismatched socks. I did find this little garland, or it's not garland, it's just a core. The little bunny, um, the bunny gnomes. And again, I thought that would be good, cute for journaling. A lot of this is journaling stuff. We just, excuse me, that I bought something. We had just gone in there real quick. Ah! like my pony today we just went in there real quick and um we didn't feel like going home so we stopped in and just see what, if there's anything new i found these napkins there is again they're their spring fling napkins but i thought those would be cute again for journaling crafts who knows if you watched my before i did get the pink and the blue gingham now i have the purple gingham Um, journals, these look like, if you guys, these look, this one says stuff, and it has 64 sheets, 5 by 7, and it, there's no lines in this ones, they're just plain, so these would be good for, like, um, sketching, little sketches, but they've got, like, a leather feel to, look to them, so they look kind of high class, um, so I got those. And then, I don't know why, these are right where the Easter eggs were. Something just said to grab them. I don't know. Something in my head said I looked at them. And they do open. They do have the back where you can clip them to each other and play with them. Build stuff. Something just said to grab them. I'm just put this up here. Got some plain... We're really into the body armor water right now, so I got some water. We need pens, got some bits. Oh, got this scarf for my hair. It, you know, it's one of their Valentine's scarves, but I figured get it now before it's all gone. Some more water. Got this one too. I like, isn't that pretty? And you can untie this. It doesn't have... It, you can untie it and then tie it around your ponytail or your hair, your head, whatever you want to do. And I found um, Bumblebee. He's going to be one of our hide-and-seeks at Universal. They have the Transformer ride. I thought it would be kind of cool to hide him by the Transformer ride. I picked up some more of these... I picked up some more of these um, Jurassic Park... Builds. It's um, it's like a puzzle. You build your own dinosaur. So we're gonna hide those in the Jurassic Park area. And then I got these. They say they're these again. We're in the teacher section. Reading highlighters. There's a bunch. There's ten in here. I thought I was try them to see how that does with my read. You know, for reading. Also, I've been making them into bookmarkers too. 
I got these cards for journaling. I liked the characters. I liked the pictures. Oh, guys, I got my all my stuff on my keyboard. So it's like, ah, eh, it's going nuts. Like, my little cursor's going everywhere. <laughs> got um, Optimus Prime also for hide and seek. I got this book. I thought it looked interesting. It's about zombies. It's a kid's book. Um, it's by Kevin John Scott, Fredwick, Fred Rick Sandwich, and The Mare Who Lost Her Marbles. That looked pretty good. Uh, it's basically, it says zombies. No, there's no such thing as zombies. And certainly not in Fredericks Hill. There actually absolutely shouldn't, wouldn't, and couldn't be such nonsense. And then it goes on to sing. So... And then I got here. Oh, I got more of the Nomi's. I got some uh, Glade bags to put our Hide and Seek for Universal. I got to get started on that. And then these are new in our store. They're vinyls. Design a vinyl Grogu. Contains one vinyl and three markers. So I got that one. You're supposed to you know, be able to color them. So we got him. I got one of I got it all that they had. <laughs> and I got two of the Spider-Man. I thought he was cute. And again, there's a Spider-Man ride. So we're gonna hide him by the Spider-Man ride. Got a stitch. Some of them I'm thinking I may not color at all and just keep out. I think they're kind of pulling the white. No, that's another Spider-Man. That's another Stitch. I got Mini. And I got my last one. We got is... Yeah. Ariel and Flounder. Let me bring them a little closer for you guys. So that's my quick little Dollar Tree haul. I hope you guys are having a great day. Like, subscribe, and... Down here. Like, subscribe. We'll see you on the flip side. Get us at 500 guys by June. We got a giveaway going on, and if we get there, bye.